Hello and welcome back to Britta's Bounty. Uh, today I'm going to make some fun keychains with this yarn. Okay, so I'm going to make a s'mores out of yarn. I thought that would be the perfect summer keychain because who doesn't love s'mores when you're camping or even if you're in the backyard barbecuing or having a nice time around the, f the fire. Um, these yarns I think I'm going to use for another project another day um, so we could put those away for now and the keychains we need keychains we got these I got these keychains at the 99 cent store um, they're really nice I was really surprised that I found them there anyway and then of course we're gonna need scissors and some embroidery needles. Sorry, I forgot what they were called. Um, yes, we're going to need, um, you don't need two of them, but I'm just using two, one for weaving in and one for sewing it all together. Okay, and then we're going to need a crochet hook. You can use any size. I used a F, I believe. Yes, it's an F and four millimeters. Um, I used a smaller one just because it is a smaller item that I'm going to be making. And so it's just a little bit easier. Okay, now that we have all our stuff together, let's get on to the project. You won't need those, put those aside for now. And we are going to start with the marshmallow. We're going to make our cute little marshmallow. Alright, so let's get the white all ready. Looks like I got a knot in it. Let's take it out real quick. And we're going to start with a uh, slip, no, slip, slip knot. Yes, a slip knot. And we are going to chain two. As we are, we'll be working in rounds this time, not in rows. We want to go around for the top of the marshmallow or the bottom whatever you want whatever you want to call it and we are going to put six single crochets in the first chain that you made it could be a little tight but but you can do it Okay, then pull the knot tight and you're going to slip stitch into the first single crochet that you made in the round, which the way you slip stitch, you put it, you put it in just like you would a single crochet and it's a bit tight, but you get it in there, you yarn over and you pull it through and then you pull it through the hook on your, or the loop on your hook. Okay, and then keep that knot pulled tight, and then um, chain one, and then you're going to be putting two single crochets in each stitch around. So right now there's six stitches in the round, and so the next round is going to have 12. And Again, if you are new to my channel or, you do, or you're or you new to crochet and you don't know what the heck I'm doing when I say single crochet or chain or slip stitch, you can go to my other video. I made a video teaching all, this, all the basic stitches and if you want, you can go there. Um, in a few minutes, there will be a little pop-up in the in the corner of this video and you could just click on it and it will take you right to the video and then you can watch it and then come back right there I'm pointing right to it okay 
<laughs> okay, I think we got it. Okay, so then just continue to do two single crochets in it, each stitch around until you have 12 stitches or 12 single crochets. They're called stitches or single crochets. You'll you'll find that I call them stitches because well they are stitches and we do more than just single crochet too. So, but in this project we're just doing single crochets for everything. Like I'm almost done, and. Okay, so now I'm going to do a slip stitch in the first single crochet of that round. Just like that. And then I'm going to pull that center knot tight. Um, make sure you always pull that center knot tight, otherwise you'll get a little nub in the middle. And especially remember to do it before you stuff the marshmallow. I forgot to do it and I have a little nub on mine. but. Yes, it doesn't matter because it will get sandwiched between two graham crackers and a chocolate. So, okay, so you'll chain one, and now I think I've decided to make the marshmallow this size. So now we're going to go into the back loops. So the so let me show you up close. Let me get the camera in focus so I can show you up close. So the back loops, so there's the front loop and that's the back loop. So the back loop is always, or the front loop is always towards you and the back loop is always away from you. So no matter what you're working on. So we're going to do a single crochet in each stitch in the back loops only for this round. I hope that makes sense. And the reason why we do that is because we want there to be an edge to the marshmallow so it looks more like a marshmallow instead of a rounded blob. Oops, I put one stitch too many in there. Okay, there we go. And that's the thing about crochet too, it's very forgiving. You can just undo it and and redo it if you make a mistake. Okay, and there should be 12 stitches when you're done. And you'll see that it kind of makes a little edge for the marshmallow. Okay, so now we're going to slip stitch into both loops. Slip stitch in the first single crochet, but do it under both loops. Okay, so then you chain one. And now you're going to go in um, both loops, do a single crochet in each stitch around. Oops, that's where you, okay, that's where it, I slip stitched. And now you're going to chain one and do a single crochet in each stitch around. And you're going to do that until you have a good size marshmallow. 
however big you want your marshmallow. And if you do want it to be wider, you can just go um, one more round and just increase, which all you'll do is do one single crochet in one stitch, and then in the next stitch you'll do two single crochets in that same stitch. And that's your pattern all the way around, so you're increasing by one. So every time you do an increase, you'll you'll do two single crochets in one stitch. Okay, and now um, I'm going to get a marker out because I always lose track of where my first stitch is. So it's a good idea if you if you have that same problem, you can use a stitch marker like I am, or if you don't have one, you can use a piece of yarn works, you can thread it through, or a paper clip, or a safety pin, um, anything that can mark it. Then that way you don't have to count your stitches and you can just know exactly where you started and where to end. It's very handy. Okay, so now we're to the the end of the sidewalls of the marshmallow. So now we need to do we need to form the edge of the top. So we're going to do this row in back loops only. Just like that. Okay, so now what we are going to do is when we start this row, we'll always um, chain one, and then we are going to do one single crochet in the first stitch, and then we're going to do a decrease. So this is how you do a decrease. So you put it in just like you're doing a single crochet. You pull up the yarn, just like that. Okay, and then you have two loops on your hook. So then you'll go into the next stitch and you'll pull up a, a yarn. You have three loops on your hook and you'll you'll pull it through all three loops so that it makes one stitch so you decrease. So now you're going to do one single crochet and then one decrease all the way around. So now it, instead of going from instead of doing 12 stitches, you're going to have six stitches. Okay, and there's another decrease. Okay, 
and pull the yarn through all three stitches. And then do that all the way around. One single crochet and one decrease. Two loops on a hook, put it through the next stitch, three loops on a hook, yarn over, and pull it through all three. Just one single crochet and then one decrease. And this should be the last one, I think. Okay, and then you're going to do a slip stitch in the first single crochet of the round. Now you're going to chain one. Oh, and I also stuffed it before I started doing, I don't know if you noticed, but before I started um, doing the back loop only row or round, I stuffed it, but make sure that when you stuff it, you pull that that middle, the end, tight so you don't get that little, that little pooch, I guess that's what you call it, in the bottom. Although, I guess it doesn't matter, like I said before, because it'll be sandwiched in between the chocolate and the gram. Okay, so then on the next one, you're going to do decreases all the way through, so you just do... Decrease, 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 and so you're going to have three stitches, so when you get to the end, you're just going to slip stitch in the next stitch, and, and, and then finish off. And I can just put it through, I just put it through any, any loop, or any stitch, and then slip stitched, and then pull, pull that string out. And cut it out. Yeah, see that little pooch right there? That's from not pulling the string tight before I stuffed it. But that's okay. Nobody will notice. Okay, then you will cut off your... You know, it doesn't matter how long it is just because we will... We'll just uh, weave in the ends. And there's your cute little marshmallow. And you can put a little face on it if you want. I've seen that. And sorry if my if uh, my puppy is being loud, if you can hear that. But she is a puppy and she's just learning. Okay, so now we're going to get the embroidery uh, needle. And we are just going to weave in the ends. Just like that. And now you have a cute, squishy little marshmallow ready to go. All right, so now we'll set that aside. How do we squish it one more time? <laughs> anyway, we'll set that aside and now we will do the graham cracker. And the graham cracker, you'll do the same thing with the other graham cracker, obviously, and with the chocolate. So um, I'm going to show you how to start the graham cracker and then I will come back when I have the graham cracker and the chocolate made. So, um, f for now, the, um, you start out with 10 uh, chains in your yarn. And, you know, see, or, or I did 10, but you could do more if you wanted or less if you thought it was, if you, you don't want your graham cracker to be as big as mine. Okay, so then don't count the loop on your hook. Go into the second chain from hook and and single crochet. And then you'll single crochet all the way across.
Okay, so now we're to the end of the row and we're going to chain one and turn our work. And then we're going to just keep doing single crochets all the way across, chain one, do single crochet all the way across, and that will be our pattern until we have a graham cracker that is to our liking, whatever size you want it. Okay, so now that you know the pattern, if you're following along, you can do your pieces and I'll do my pieces and I will be right back. Okay, so now we have all our pieces crocheted and if you want to get them up flat like mine I used a warm iron on them but make sure you put a cloth over it otherwise it'll melt um, unless you're using cotton yarn but anyway so then you stack them up how you want it I kind of staggered mine a little bit to make give it more dimension and texture and then get it to how you like it and then you take some more yarn, some brown yarn, uh, the light brown yarn, and clip a good size of it. Okay, and then you get your embroidery needle, the big one. And then you're going to find the middle of the s'more. So you want to go right up through the middle of the marshmallow and everything. It's going to be kind of hard to get it through, but, but you can work it through. Okay, and then you're going to pull it through, and but not all the way through, just a little bit through, and then go in, um, go through the other way. Just the same way you came out or in, whatever. You go up through again to sew it all together. And then, and make sure your pieces are long because um, I made the mistake of cutting mine too short and it was really hard to tie them, you'll see in a minute. So make sure you cut your pieces long. Don't do what I'm doing. See how that one end is shorter? Just make sure it's a little longer. It just makes it so much easier to tie. All right, and then once you got that, then you will get out one of your, one of your keychains. I can get it open. There you go. Then take it out. And then all you'll do is loop it on there, tie a knot. See what I mean about tying it too, or cutting it too short? It was really hard to, to tie it. But I did it. And it is doable. Just make sure your pieces are long enough. Anyway, so then once you get it tied, you have can cut off the the ends and so they're not like in, in the way and then once you have it on there you have a cute little keychain all right so uh, like always thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch my my video and if you like it please uh, <coughs> thumbs up um, Bella approves and please subscribe and share with your friends and have a great day all right bye